Hey, we're the Backpacking Family and we have been asked some fantastic questions about traveling in Kazakhstan. I'm a little bit nervous about answering these because in all honesty, some of them are really tricky and they're wrapped in with some of the fears we had of traveling ourselves and the solutions aren't perfect, but they're the best that we could do. We'll just get stuck here. We've got some great questions. Because it's all So we're going to kick off with a question from Blythe and Joe, and um, they were both asking about the weather, the food, and have we found kid-friendly stuff? So yes, uh, the weather has been amazing. It's been very hot. We are traveling in July, August time, and it's just been fantastic. It's been so hot in the day that we've had to use an umbrella to try and keep a little boy out of the sun. Um, Food-wise, oh my goodness, we'll get into food a lot more. It is really varied, and all honesty, some of it has been really greasy and not amazing. And then there's other times we've had some great food too, so we'll talk a little bit more about that um, later on in the question. And um, kid-friendly stuff. So, I would say, in terms of being kid-friendly, Almaty in Kazakhstan was very kid-friendly. There was stuff to do everywhere. You could see ice rinks, um, Cockatoo Bay had loads of kids' rides. But as soon as you get out of Almaty and head east, it's, it's not kid-friendly, but it's very suitable for people um, like us, or if you're the kind of person who wants an adventure, it's amazing. Once you start heading east, it's just not kid-friendly, to be honest. <laughs> yes. Um, and Rich asked, how did the baby do? What preparations did we make? And what equipment and resources did we use? So, um, firstly, how did the baby do? The baby's been doing really well. As you can see, he's loving meeting people, he's loving the whole experience. And personally, as a papa, I'm really proud of how he's doing. Um, what preparations did we make? Um, to be honest, the amount of preparations always surprises me for a trip like this. It just takes ages thinking through everything from nappies, how we're going to feed him, all of these different things. And that ties in with the question about the equipment and resources too. So I'm just going to run through a few things quickly. Um, we did bring nappies, not loads. We presume we can buy them here and we found that you can, which is great. Um, expensive though. They are expensive, so we've, we've taken plenty, but we will probably halfway through our trip need to replenish. Um, baby wipes, absolutely invaluable, um, both uh, wiping bum and wiping hands and face if he gets grubby. <laughs> So um, we've not brought many toys, the toys he's playing with are courtesy of this lovely coffee shop, but we have brought like small <laughs> compact toys like this is P Donkey, <laughs> say hello to P Donkey, <laughs> and um, absolutely invaluable, especially at this age, um, a bottle, he's actually learning to drink from normal um, drinking bottles, but he still slurps it everywhere, whereas this is great, especially at night when he just wants comfort. Um, a bottle like this and he's actually really good at drinking water which is great so we can get clean water all the way around easily that's fantastic something that's absolutely invaluable if you're traveling with a baby in hot countries as well definitely bring an umbrella it's great if you know we had a thunderstorm yesterday we we're using it and then today it's been really hot so again we can use it if we need to walk around the town with him did you mention the sling? No, oh my goodness. You don't go a day without using the sling. How can I miss this? This is my absolute favourite. Seriously. It's an Integra sling. It is so beautifully designed. And not only is it our, our way of getting him around the town, but for me, it feels like I can give him this safe, protected mm. space close to me. So absolutely, I love this sling. We've used it for more than we planned. Okay, next question. Ryan asked, is this a rich country? I would say um, there's a massive rich poor divide and it's developing rapidly. So places like Astana mm. are renowned for being super modern, metropolitan, mm. incredible, huge, impressive cities. Yeah, I'm telling you. And so <laughs> Almaty is like that. It's really progressive, really impressive. And then suddenly you're in the sticks. And suddenly you can see um, people, when they're living in poverty, it's not like the stuff of um, experience in Cambodia. It's more like the poor end of farming life. And it's actually, people seem quite happy and um, to be getting on with that kind of more rural life. So I think, um, yes, it's actually an oil rich country. And day to day, you can see a massive contrast as you work your way through it. Yeah. And Kim asks us, are we camping? If so, what did we do for clean water? Well, we've not actually brought our own tent, um, but we have managed to stay in some yurts, which has been wonderful. In fact, they're such baby proof environments, loads yes. of soft spaces, nothing to really pull over or destroy. It's just been wonderful. Um, in terms of clean water, we've found fantastically there's, there's clean water sold in bottles, cheaply available everywhere, even in the mountains that we've been to, the, the water has not been too expensive, it's cheap, it's easy to buy, and as I say, baby boy actually loves drinking water, which is great for us. Absolutely. Um, Samantha, Sam, you asked, is it difficult? Has it been difficult? Yes, <laughs> it has been difficult. We've had times, and we're going to do a video on just a very honest uh, venting and ranting about the things that have been difficult in particular, um, we don't want to pretend it hasn't been, 
But on balance, it has been so worth it, and we're so happy that we have done it. But yeah, there have been difficult times, but that needs a whole video on its own. <laughs> <laughs> and Rebecca says, I know you've been there before, so has traveling with a baby helped you see or learn something you haven't before? Um, Absolutely. So basically, I lived in um, Almaty, Kazakhstan for a couple of years, about, about 10 years ago, and it's changed massively. And it was a very different style of travel. At the time, I was based in the city. I didn't actually get out of the city that much. I got into the mountains a few times, but I didn't really travel out into the sticks in the way that we have here. And this time, we have this beautiful baby boy with us. And to be honest, I'm just seeing the culture in an entirely new light. People have been so kind, so generous, so hospitable, and just so in tune with us as parents and us as a family have been so lovely towards our baby boy. So yeah, I've, I've learned and seen so many things. I've also been sharpening up my Russian. I think I now speak more Russian than I learned in two years here, just because we're constantly talking to locals and bartering and finding accommodation and transport. So yeah. So Caitlin has asked about transport. She's been asking about buses, trains, car seats, all those kind of things. You can <laughs> anything and then banging you just saw his film and he decided to start banging <laughs> okay um caitlin asked about transport so buses cars car seats train journeys all this kind of thing and um, kazakhstan is fantastic for trains they have fantastic overnight trains and um, when you're trying to get into the rural areas and we're heading east to where we have done and um, there's no real public transport you have to either share taxis or what we've done is hitchhiked a lot and that's been amazing every time we've hitchhiked we've been picked up in like massive four by four incredible posh cars Baby seat wise, this is something I mentioned instead of struggling with things that we've had to work out. So no, car seats aren't a thing here like most of the world. And it's like most public transport places and um, you just have to jump in with what you have. We're not happy just jumping in and holding him. That's not for us. What we do use, and it's not official use of it, but we have found that Integra Sling, you can just pass it to me. Mm. Um, often we use it on the back, but if we're getting into a car, this is not advice, this is just what we do and what we found we're comfortable with now. So, little boy goes in there, this has three straps, it has a full body panel <laughs> and usually um, Pete is the one holding him, so Pete will be strapped in with the main seat belt across him, not our baby, so it goes around his waist across there and then all the straps are done up and we just bribe our baby to behave with food and giggles and water and milk and yeah. and get through the journeys that way so that has been a difficult thing but we feel quite safe doing it that way now just to chime in here as well if um if we felt like drivers were driving too fast and this hasn't yeah. happened yet with with our center slow down generally we'll check the car if it's a bit of a battered car maybe a sign it's not a good driver yeah. in fact we've been in some absolute monster cars i've felt very safe in the cars we've been in so far and i'll always sit in the back of the car as well obviously things like airbags and more impact at the front so yeah, we, we, yeah, so sitting in the back, we got picked up in this massive armoured vehicle, which we'll tell you a bit more in the hitchhiking video. Um, but this guy is so hospitable, it turned out to be, he works like really high up in the government. So we've had some really interesting hitches on this journey. <laughs> it's been fun. Um, okay, so um, Rachel says, what's the best thing you've seen so far and how have you coped with an inquisitive and mobile toddler? <laughs> I love this question. Red um, sticks. <laughs> yeah, red sticks. <laughs> Um, so the best thing we've seen so far, for me, I loved Lake Kindy. So it's up in the mountains of Kazakhstan. Um, you have to drive um, for an hour or so up this like really bumpy road and eventually you then walk for about 20, 30 minutes and you get to this gorgeous lake that's got these trees growing out of the water. And I just absolutely loved it. It was so beautiful and so that unique. Um, and how we cope with a, an inquisitive mobile toddler. To be honest, it's been a real challenge um, because he is so inquisitive, but he's not that coordinated yet. <laughs> so he, he can walk, but he can also fall and he can fall in style and he loves to pull things off. So basically mm -hmm. it's just been, um, this has been amazing. We've got a, a baby seat for him, but this is the first time in two weeks. Um, Hence filming here, we have yes. a baby seat. <laughs> but um, on other days, I'll just be chasing around after him, stopping him, pulling stuff over and falling over. And he loves stairs as well. Has anybody, anyone else who's got a toddler, have they got a radar for the most dangerous thing in any given <laughs> room? Like we, we were like, we're in here, like this room's fine. Otherwise it's really safe in baby room. <laughs> But there was a cactus in the corner. He's like, oh, cactus. Straight, first thing you went to, wasn't it? Straight in, give it a pull. See. Yeah. Yeah, that yes. looks interesting. <laughs> totally, yeah. so amazing. Um, <laughs> Helen, um, you mentioned about food. I said we'll get back onto food. And you've also mentioned about national favourites um, and influences um, from places like Russia, China, Afghanistan. Mm. Um, and thank you for wishing as well, as well. We are having a great time. 
So uh, food-wise, um, there is a lot of Russian influence on the food. There's a lot of Russian influence on the culture that is very apparent. Um, we find, again, um, it tends to be the main cities are more Russian influenced from what we're seeing. Uh, feel free, if you know the culture better, to correct us. But we feel like we've seen a lot of Russian culture in the main cities. And it tends to get more Chinese rural. And maybe that's just because we lived in China and we've been to rural mm. China. But I felt like when we would go out to the sticks more, um, even the way people look, they tend to look a little bit more Chinese. And um, the food tends to be a little bit more Chinese. And it could just be because we're heading east that we're seeing that. But that's been our experience so far with that. Hmm. We have a question from Aaliyah. Hi Aaliyah. Uh, it says, um, have you met up with old friends from Kazakhstan? Uh, I know lots moved to different cities and countries, um, but with those who are still there. Um, yes, we have actually. It's been really lovely to see um, some old friends. And in fact, uh, we're going to be in Almaty a few times, so we're hoping to catch up with some other people too. Definitely. Um, so Michelle said, um, we'd love to know where you went and would you like a hot meal? Michelle, thank you. Um, we were only in Almaty for a short time and headed off east, um, but we will be coming back round and we would love a hot meal. We'd never say no to a hot meal. Thank you, that's very kind. <laughs> and uh, Matthew, I love this question. <laughs> Matthew asks, how? Just how? <laughs> <laughs> I think the question just says it all, to be honest. <laughs> it does, and so the answer is probably about as long as a question, just do. I think yeah. if we overthought it, we just wouldn't do it. Um, mm. We have done a bit of planning, but for us, we just know if we don't just get up and go do it, we'll never do it. So that's the way. The how just how is go, just go. Yeah. Oh man, so that is all the questions. Thank you so much. And we'll do another one for the other countries. It's been amazing to see what you guys want to know about what we're doing, what we're getting up to. And we love sharing with you. We hope you're enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for joining this journey with us. It's, it makes it a lot more enjoyable having you guys along. So thank you. Are you doing that clapping? <laughs> yeah, we'll do it now. Where's your clapping? Yeah. Yeah, Is over it gone there. over there? The, cl the clapping's gone over there. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, we're going to go oh, follow the clapping. Um, oh no, the clapping's gone that way now. He's doing an amazing clap. He's like, yeah, that's a perfect ending. Yay! Yay! I don't know how the camera only stopped finished. clapping. So, yeah, maybe actually means yay, the video's finished. Um, I do hope you enjoy that. We love your questions. If you have any more questions, yay! Pop them in below and we'll do our best to answer. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We love you guys.